Some folks have asked about my arrow systems and what I shoot. This right here is a recruit. I like, this is a recruit arrow. Uh, I like aluminum arrows. They're just easier to fool with in carbons. Uh, they don't have a stiff side and a weak side. You don't have to do all that figuring. Um, they're uniform all the way around. And um, what I looked at was the 12 factors that Dr. Ed Ashby um, put out for arrow lethality. And to start with, this does not have a tanto tip, but it doesn't have a needle point either. The point's kind of, it's, it's like a wedge point. This is a Zwicky No Mercy. It's a single bevel. Starting with the tip, it's got a reinforced tip. The number one uh, arrow lethality is um, broadhead integrity. So this is a, I would call a medium heavy integrity. It's not a monolithic. They are stronger, but this is pretty strong. And um, so it's a single bevel, which means it's it's got uh, the bevel. It's just got one side that you sharpen and you can slightly sharpen the other, but it's designed to spin. And, and when it hits bone, it's designed to torque and break the bone, the heavy bone. It's 2.6 inches long to about, um, it's an inch and 3 sixteenths, whatever that comes out to. It's gonna be like a 1.2 inches wide. Um, it's got the gentle slope. I don't know that it's a three to one, but it's probably a two point, you know, it's 2.6 to 1.2 ish. It has a slick ferrule that does not have any bumps or ridges in it. The bottom of the ferrule is wider than the arrow. So you don't have any friction feature right here. It is a single bevel designed to crack bone. The FOC on the arrow is 20.6 FOC, which anything 19 above is considered high FOC. This is where the arrow, the broadhead, starts pulling the arrow instead of the arrow pushing the broadhead, is my understanding. So that's what aids in penetration. Um, their weight factor on the 12 factors is for optimum performance is 650 grains. It slows the arrow down extremely. When you go from a 450 or a 500 and go up to 650, they say it doesn't matter. Listen, I shot my crossbow from 20 to 25 yards, and there's a 450 grain arrow and a 650 grain arrow, and the 650 grain arrow dropped almost eight inches below the 450 grain arrow. Now, 450 is about the minimum I to hunt with. This is 498. It's got feathers on it, which gives you higher FOC. You take weight off the back. You put heavy weight on the front, you have a medium weight shaft, and then you have a uh, feathers on the back. And I do put, I put a lighting off on the back. It, that does affect your FOC, but I'm over 19%, so I don't care. And I don't want to do without electric, uh, without a, a lighted off anyway, because uh, it really aids not only in filming, but in detecting the shot where it hits the animal. And sometimes you can find your arrow in low light and be sticking in the ground over there. And if it skips around some, uh, you might not be able to fight if you don't have a lighted off, especially if it's starting to get dark or something. So uh, this is a highly lethal arrow system based on all this criteria. And uh, so I'm gonna shoot this through uh, eight jugs and see what I get. One thing I forgot to mention, this broadhead weighs 204 grains. And the reason it weighs that much is because it has a steel, oh man, well, I'll take that off, I guess I'll show you. That has a steel threaded adapter. It's not aluminum. One of the things that Dr. Ed says is to get rid of all of the aluminum uh, out front. It's doing the bone splitting and the penetration. So you don't have any aluminum threaded adapter that bends on you. So this is how I put these on. You heat everything. This has got old glue on it. You got to heat it up. Make sure it's nice and hot. You got to heat this up so your glue doesn't cool down too quickly. You take some of this hot melt glue and you can get it in the, I think it's like over in the clothing craft section or just craft sections like of the Walmart type places. Make sure it's nice and hot so it goes in and spreads that glue out evenly. So you push it in there nice and hard and then you line it up. I like to index. I like to clock my broadheads so they're always sitting straight up and down when I shoot them. So uh, you don't have that wing effect. The wing is always turned the same way on the front of the arrow. It's a broadhead. It is a wing. And uh, we're going to crony this and we'll shoot it through jugs and see what it does. Just sharpen this. Make sure it's good. Yeah. <laughs> yes, it's sharp. The thing you do is you spin test. Make sure there's no wobble. So it looks good. You'll see a wobble right here if it's not in there straight. All right. Let's crony and then we'll try the jug test. Okay. Zwicky, no mercy, single bevel, steel insert, total air weight. It's 498 grains. It's crony. See what we got here. 
234. All right, let's shoot some jugs. <laughs> it's sticking out of the other side. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Eight jugs worth. It didn't even, it didn't quite hit center either. <laughs> the broadhead sticking out, I call that a pass through. Pass. I like it. Dag on it, it ripped a feather off. <laughs> so in 36 inches, went in like this, turned a little more, 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 a little more. And Where's this one? Oh, right here. All oh, right here. Going from first jug to last jug. There's that slit, and there's this slit. So not very much of a turn, but still penetrated all eight, and just about exited the back. There you go. I'm happy with it.